Hello designer, today I will give a water plus brush absolutely free. During in this video, I will give a link to one brush file any point. You can download the brush from here and along with this, I will show you such a wonderful manipulation with tomato. So you must watch the video completely. For this, we need few images, a uh, background, a uh, tomato, a fish, a water pinji and a uh, water plush. So let's go to Photoshop. Open the file menu and take a background image. First, we crop the background to 1 to 1 aspect ratio and we see this, its resolution is low. So increase its quality, we go to the image tool and click to size. Now we make a height and a width 1500 and resolution to 300. Okay, we can see the background is not perfect. So I want to blur the background for the clarity of the subject. So I go to the filter menu and go to the blur option and select Irish blur and set it middle. Okay. Again go to the image menu and click on adjustment. Open brightness and contrast tool and reduce some brightness. Okay. Set this project before. Then go to the filter and from here go to new collection. Click on color pick flow then go to down and select it. Okay, our background is perfect. Now our main work will begin. We need a tomato pins image. You can download images from Google or get them on my website. Search uistock.blogspot.com and here you will find the wall images. Come back again Photoshop and set it correctly. Now we'll cut the tomato into three separate parts so select the pen tool and like that select the bottom part of the tomato click selection tool then ok press ctrl plus j and duplicate this and move this under name it this bottom and this is top we can see here is a green color floret now we have to separate this floret on the tomato. For this, select quick selection tool and select green color places on tomato and press Ctrl J. Give me name floret. You can see here that the tomato has been divided into three separate parts. Now select the top layer and open blending mode and select screen. Let's go to the image menu and go to adjustment then click dash to right. You can see that the layer is turned black and white. Now to make it transparent, go back to the image menu and go to adjustment then click level. Here we will change the level as required. Okay, follow this method. Just perfect. You can see that we have made the top layer of the tomato to transparent. Now on the bottom layer, we will place a tomato split. Open the file menu and embed it. Now let's place it on the bottom part. You can use this translate tool for perfect placement. Okay, good. Use name split. Now we will place a water layer inside the tomato. Embed the water and put it. Name it water. Now select the tomato transport layer with quick selection tool. Then select the water layer again and press right button from mouse and click invert this selection. Now press delete button on the keyboard to delete the part of the water bar. Ok, perfect. Now I will increase its situation of the water layer so that the area is low cleared. For this go to the color tool and hue and saturation. Adjust it. Ok. Now hold ctrl and select two layers and press right button of the mouse and click merge layer. Now we need a fish, go to the file and import png fish, now place it inside the water layer, ok. Now our last task is to create a shadow under the tomato, take a new layer under the tomato layer so that the shadow looks realistic. Take a foreground color black and paint shadow. I will select bottom layer and select with selection tool. Now select brown tool and brown the bottom layer of tomato. Okay, perfect. 
so hey degenerate in this way we can create a tomato manipulation and who want to get this brush file go to this website and get it from here subscribe the channel for more videos thanks